So spring turkey hunting in Kentucky is pretty simple. It opens April 16th, Saturday, April 16th, and it runs through Sunday, May 8th. Uh, there is a two bird bag limit. Bearded birds only are legal. So it's gobblers or jakes or bearded hens. I think we're gonna have a good hunting season this spring. Two years ago, we actually didn't have a great hatch, but the two years before that, we did. And so there should be birds that were hatched in 2018 and 2019. And then this past summer, we had a really good hatch as well. So there'll be a lot of jakes on the landscape. I'd say for the new hunter, it really helps to have a mentor. You know, it doesn't have to be someone who's hunted turkeys for a long time, but if they've got a little experience with it and been out there and had some success or made some mistakes, you know, that's good information. And, and most hunters nowadays are very willing to share their skill set um, because we want to recruit new hunters. Get your equipment squared away, pattern your shotgun, concentrate on getting that bird in as close as you can. If you can get that bird 40 yards or closer, that's what you really should shoot for. One thing that is uh, new this year is we've begun a research study and we have captured turkeys across the state and banded them. Any hunters that harvest a turkey with a metal leg band, follow the instructions on the band, go to our website or call. By them reporting that band they harvest, they're providing really important information. They're essentially allowing us to help estimate harvest rate or the pressure we're putting on the spring turkey population. So one way that hunters and really any citizen of the Commonwealth can help us monitor the turkey population is if they see turkeys that look sick, specifically turkeys that aren't acting normal. They're not afraid of people, they're, they're not, not trying to get away when humans approach, um, or if they're covered with these nodules, wart-like growths on their head and neck, sometimes on their feet. We don't have any reason to suspect that there's uh, a major disease moving through the population or even has, but there's always possibilities and so we're on the lookout for those. So anyone who encounters those birds, any hunter that harvests a bird like that, we would really appreciate it if they would let us know. So they can go to our website, there's more information, or give us a call. And again, that just provides very valuable information to help monitor the population. The website has a lot of great information, it gives you a rundown of the regulations, it also gives you more information, including a link for how to report your leg band if you were to harvest one of those that I mentioned earlier. And folks can always give us a call.